Hello! A lot of you are probably really bummed out now that the World Cup is over. Look at the bright side. You have four years to wait, and we don't even know if the world's going to be around by then. Anyway, soccer players have received a lot of backlash recently due to the growing number of flops in the World Cup and in soccer leagues. Especially now with instant replay, we are able to see what appears to be a really bad flop. And you would think with this technology that soccer players would stop flopping around like fish out of water. And now this has demanded a change from the critics of the sport. Well, I'm here to tell you that change is not necessary. With my state-of-the-art high-definition technology, we are able to take a real look at what is causing these flops. Let's take a look at the following video. Are you kidding me? I didn't touch him! He didn't do anything! Are you kidding me, man? Wow, what a physical play. You might be wondering, what's all the commotion about? Why does he throw himself like that? The defensive player barely touched him. Hmm, well let's take a closer look, and this time, in super slow-mo. Come on, there was barely any contact. That's what you're probably thinking. But let me tell you what, that was one of the most physical plays that I've ever seen. And with my state-of-the-art high-definition technology, we are able to really take a look at where the contact was actually made. And I'm telling you, this was not a flop. Incredible! What the human eye can't see, my technology can. And we are able to see the true point of contact, which is two hairs colliding, causing a massive chain reaction to the rest of the body. Let's take a look at that again. What the heck? Hairs? That's a good thought. But let me tell you what, in a most recent study, led by the Brazilian national team and Neymar Jr., they have inconclusively, almost scientifically proven that soccer player hair is some of the most sensitive hair in the entire world. Do you have any hair on your arm? Yes. There's the proof. We also have inconclusive scientific evidence that NBA players carry the same gene as these soccer players with the sensitive hair led by LeBron James. And now with the flux of international players joining the NBA, we have seen flops on the rise. But once again, it's because of the sensitive hair. You might have some reservations regarding this technology. One being, what if the soccer player shaves? Well, you know what? If they do shave, you ever hear of a five o'clock shadow? You ever hear a stubble? You can't get rid of all that hair. And also, you're probably wondering, what about the defensive player? What about his arm hair? Didn't that cross? Well, you know what? We know nothing about defensive arm player hair. 